In this video, we will see how the backup of Azure API management service will be taken. So basically, <coughs> we will learn how the backup and restore of the Azure API management service will be taken. Right. So for the demonstration purposes, uh, I have already created one uh, API management resource, uh, API management service in uh, Azure. Mm. and the i mean the backup will be taken in a storage account so i have already created one storage account in this in this storage account i have already created one container right so basically in this container the backup of our api management service will be taken the backup will be in a blob format right so and this is the <coughs> api management service i have already taken created this api management so the, the backup of this uh, api management service will be taken right so for that our there is i mean so basically we need to uh, run the backup api that is provided by the management azure services right and this uh, if this management i mean so this backup uh, api require a token right so first we need to generate the token and the token needs to pass in this backup api so once the token is passed it will take uh, start the backup process right and for taking the backup what we need to do is that uh, we need to create uh, one application right so i have already created one api application that application is created using the api management I means app registration right so i have already created one app for that as well right and once we create an api we require to get the secrets of that api so that i have already created one secrets of that as well right so for i mean for the login what uh, we require to pass uh, four parameters one is the client id one is the client secret run type and resource uh, so basically uh application i mean client id will be our application id the secret will be the secret that we have created the values of the secret id right and the grant type is fixed client credential and resource is also fixed so once we run this api it will give us a token right so this token is to pass in this backup api <coughs> uh process right so uh, right so i mean the token needs to be passed as an barrier token so i have already passed that token let me show you the token as well so this token we just need to pass this token here once we pass the token uh, and when we run the process uh, i mean if we get the two 202 accepted treasures that means that the backup of this azure api management service is already started right and after some times the actual backup will be added here in the container that we have already created right so after some time you will see the backup okay so <clears throat> Uh, for the backup application for I mean for the backup API what we need to pass is that we need to pass the subscription ID right so and then the resource group and this resource group is the where the API means I mean the Azure management service is there and then the API instance the API instance means whatever the name of the Azure API management services right so all this parameter is passed right and uh, I mean this is the, for the backup API and i mean the same way restore api is already work the only thing is that in the restore api uh i mean so the operation i mean so here for the backup the last parameter is the backup right and for the restore api the last parameter is the restore so all other things will remain same i mean so other parameters in a body what we need to pass is that we need, we need to pass the access key backup name container name and the storage name the access key will be the access key of the storage account into which the container is there right and backup name is the backup name that 
we want to restore the container name is the container of the storage account and the storage account is the storage account itself right so if we pass this parameter then it will start the restore process once we start the restore process right so okay actually what we need to do is that we need to pass the token change because okay so basically for restore process process the i mean so we should have the backup process so as we have already started the backup after some times the backup will be there and once we have backup the restore process will work as it is all right so this is how we can do the backup and restore of api management service in the comments of uh, this video what i will do is that i will give you the postman collection for all these three apis i mean first the login then backup and the restore so you can easily do the backup and restore of the api management services okay thanks for watching this video in next video i will give you the how do can we generate the logic apps right and that logic apps will be i mean we can create a logic apps uh, on a scheduler task so it is some uh, every day we can run that logic apps at same same times and at the time the backup will be automatically taken thanks for watching this video <coughs>